So welcome to My Tennis Coaching and this my online academy course on doubles. So this is my doubles framework and today we'll look at how to dominate the match. The course has been written by myself, Steve Whelan, uh, and based on the research done by coaches such as Louis Kea, Simon Wheatley and Craig O'Shaughnessy. So learning the objectives for the course. To greatly develop your understanding in a number of different areas, to look at how doubles is actually played, to look at the performance skills needed by the players to play effective doubles, to look at the tennis skills needed by players to play effective doubles, to look and understand territory in doubles, and to understand effective movement at the net. Quick little overview into myself. Very shameless selfie. I don't take many selfies, but it's a pretty good one. I'm an LTA level four performance coach. And I'm also an LTA coach education tutor. So I tutor on the assistant and instructor courses mainly. And I also do CPD, including how to play effective doubles. And I've been coaching now 20 years. I coach a wide range of levels from beginners to mini tennis or LTA youth, as it is now here in UK, to adults. My background is mainly performance, and I've worked mainly in the under 10 performance space uh, in terms of player development pathway. I've been a coach educator now for eight years, so I deliver coach education qualifications and CPD. I currently work for UCoach, who are based in the East region of the UK, and I have worked for a couple of other providers as well. And I've done lots and lots of face-to-face -face coach education. I've done online workshops. And this is an area which I really enjoy doing. I love working with coaches, I love stealing ideas and making them my own. And hopefully I bring in a lot of experience both on and off court, both as a coach and an educator in today's presentation. In terms of sort of doubles, my background, I'm a county coach for Buckinghamshire. So I coach the under 12 girls team. Doubles is a huge part of that. A lot of county cup and county competitions, doubles is involved, very similar to Davis Cup and Fed Cup. The doubles generally decide who wins the tie. And I've been a team captain as well. And I've played, obviously, club, uh, club doubles to a Division One standard here in the UK. And I've been involved as a team captain at club level, doing the Aegon teams, as they formerly were known, team tennis, as it's now known. I'm also a qualified tennis analyst as well. So I completed a qualification with tennis analytics uh, and that was about match tagging or match charting and looking, at, and looking at statistics and analysis and working out patterns of play and how points are won and how points are lost. And a lot of the stuff that we'll sort of cover in the first part of this presentation is how doubles actually played from a stats-based and analytics-based and how we can transfer that into making you play more effective doubles. So the importance of doubles, first of all, I've highlighted that doubles is a team game. And I think people generally play doubles as four individuals. So when they go on court and they play, they play mainly as, as an individual. But doubles, first and foremost, is a team game. Doubles also is very important for international events, such as the Davis Cup and the Billie Jean King Cup, formerly known as the Fed Cup. A lot of those ties come down to doubles rubber and matches are won and lost by the doubles. Here in the UK, over 100,000 adults each week play doubles. The club life very much here in the UK is all about doubles. Very little singles play uh, for a number of different reasons. Court pressure, the perception that doubles is easier in terms of movements and sort of getting around the courts. We'll look at that today and see if that's true or not. Um, but a lot of club tennis here in the UK is mainly doubles. Doubles creates complete tennis players because in doubles, you're going to play in all game situations. And if you play singles, you can just stick mainly to the baseline. You can play forehands and backhands and trade both back. But in doubles, you're going to have to find yourself playing up with the net and being a net player. You need good net skills. You need good baseline skills. You need to be able to serve, return, deal with players at the net. You are literally playing in all the different situations yourself but also playing it all the other different situations as well so it, it definitely completes a more rounded 360 degree tennis player this is how doubles is played mainly here in the uk at a club level and we see an awful lot of this to a degree Take a 
So a bit tongue in cheek. Um, that was an exhibition match. That wasn't a, a proper tournament match. Um, but the, the the point I'm making here is, it's generally played by the baseliners. The the baseliners try and dominate the game, and sort of they'll look to try and win and lose the points, and the net players become very much passengers. And that's the view very much a lot of players have, and even a lot of coaches have about doubles that it's it's mainly dominated from the baseline. And like I mentioned before, players will play it as independents. They'll play as two separate singles players. They they won't communicate with each other in terms of what they're doing or what they would like to do. And they'll sort of walk on court and introduce each other and they'll have a little bit of a sort of nice chat, but they won't actually discuss the match itself. Players will go one up, one back like the professionals and they will stand in these formations that they'll see at on TV at Wimbledon or the US Open. But they have no idea why they're standing there or what they're meant to be doing. And, and it causes a sense of chaos within the environment and the situation. And players will go for shots that they're not meant to go for or they'll leave shots that they should be going for. The net players often isolated or at the game. Again, I see it an awful lot within coaching. The player at the net will stand out towards the tram lines and they'll give the classic excuse, oh, I'm covering the line. But... In general terms, they're taking themselves away from the, from the game itself. The game is mainly played through the centre of the court. Like I mentioned before, the baseliner will try and win the points themselves. They'll try and be the dominant player out the pair, and they'll try and hit winners and force errors from the back of the court. And the players will have a side each. The players will have the left and right. This is how doubles are actually played. So I have some stats for you. The serving team has a huge advantage in doubles. The winning team wins on average 64% of their points on serve. The serving team dominates in doubles. If you can win the, the majority of your serving points, the chances are you're going to win the match. A successful doubles team has a first serve percentage of 69%. Compare that to, doubles, to singles, which is about 60%, the doubles teams are getting more first serves in. Placement is key in doubles, especially with the serve. 35% of points are won by a missed return. So a lot of points are missed in what we call ball two, the return of serve. Serve is ball one, the return is ball two. So a lot of errors are made on the return of serve. A lot of cheap points available for the server. The net player is key in doubles. 68% of points of doubles are won at the net. That's a huge sort of takeaway for me because most players believe that the baseliner wins the majority of the points. The baseliner actually wins 32% of the points. The net player wins 68%. 84% of winning shots are won by the net player. The net player is what we call the point ending zone. They're in the perfect position to win or lose the point. The great majority, as we see by the stat there, are won by the net player. 51% of errors are made by the baseliner. So most errors are made by the baseliner. And again, we'll look at the reasons why as we go through this presentation. All these stats were provided by Craig O'Shaughnessy and Brain Game Tennis. Doubles actually game of short points. The average rye line for doubles is just 3.8. 81% of points are won between balls one and four. So if you're getting involved in long, drawn out rallies and doubles, somebody's not doing their job right. Someone doesn't understand their role and responsibility. So we're going to use these stats to develop a doubles framework in this presentation. And we're going to look to develop tennis players who are going to class as performers. And we're going to look at tennis skills and also other skills such as head, heart and legs. We're also going to try and make you work as a team. So work with your partner to get the win. And we're not going to look to wait for our opponents to make a mistake. We're going to force them into making mistakes. And our tennis skills are going to be mainly focused around when serving, taking the advantage when you serve, trying to win the points with the serve, control and dominate the net, and be really solid in the balls one to four.